something has entered the solar system. And it is not behaving like anything seen before. The telescopes that first caught its motion recorded an object moving with extraordinary speed, cutting across space on an almost perfect straight line. Scientists call it 3i slash Atlas. And what it reveals could significantly expand what is known about interstellar visitors. Detected on July 1st, 2025, by NASA's Atlas Survey System, the object immediately stood out. Its velocity, 58 kilometers per second relative to the Sun, was higher than any previously observed interstellar body. By the time it approaches perihelion, that speed could reach nearly 68 kilometers per second, faster than both Oumuamua and Borisov, the only two confirmed interstellar objects before it. At such a velocity, no solar gravity could capture it. Three RI slash Atlas will cross the inner solar system and vanish once more into the dark between the stars. Its path alone is enough to puzzle astronomers. The object's hyperbolic trajectory points almost directly towards the Sun, suggesting it is not gravitationally bound to our system. Something must have accelerated it, perhaps the gravitational pull of massive planets in another star system. This kind of gravitational slingshot can propel an object to immense speed. Yet even that cannot fully explain 3 i slash Atlas. What truly unsettles scientists is its light signature. Instead of reflecting sunlight as expected, it emits a faint reddish glow that changes as it moves. Observations from NASA, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and ground-based telescopes have confirmed chemical emissions inconsistent with any known comet or asteroid. The object seems to radiate energy, almost as if something within it were alive or active. As data accumulated, agencies including NASA and ESA kept their statements cautious. Public statements remained cautious as analyses continued. For the first time in history, engineers proposed a desperate measure to redirect the Juno spacecraft, currently orbiting Jupiter, toward the approaching object. The maneuver, untested and risky, would consume nearly all remaining fuel in Juno's system, but could provide humanity's first close encounter with an interstellar traveler. Several US congressional representatives, among them Anna Paulina Luna, even voiced support for emergency funding to make it possible. The reason for such urgency became clear as more telescopes focused on Atlas. The Hubble Space Telescope, later joined by James Webb and Gemini North in Hawaii, confirmed that 3RI slash Atlas was larger than expected. Early models suggested a diameter between 3 and 10 kilometers, a giant among interstellar visitors. Objects of that size arriving from outside the solar system are statistically almost impossible. Astronomers estimate that such an encounter could occur only once every 10,000 years. Its next approach will bring it to 270 million kilometers from Earth around December 19th, 2025. It will be too dim for the human eye, visible only through the largest telescopes. Yet the precision of its trajectory has raised an unsettling possibility. Could 3 i slash Atlas be directed? The mystery deepens with its brightness. The light intensity measured from its surface equals nearly 10 gigawatts, a level difficult to explain by sunlight alone. Some scientists, including astrophysicist Pavel Avilov, have proposed a daring idea. What if the object were made, at least partially, of antimatter? In such a case, its collision with interplanetary dust would release intense bursts of gamma radiation, just like those being detected. Antimatter is almost non-existent in nature. On Earth, it can only be produced in particle accelerators, in quantities too small to store. Discovering a multi-kilometer object of antimatter would defy current physics, and suggest something far beyond natural formation. The Gemini North Telescope has provided sharper insights. Using its multi-object spectrograph, scientists have refined Atlas's estimated size 
to between 0.3 and 5.6 kilometers. It lacks volatile compounds such as cyanides and carbon chains, materials that define most comets in our solar system. Instead, it appears to consist of primitive ancient matter, possibly formed in the early stages of the Milky Way. Strangely, the object is almost symmetrical, unlike most comets battered by countless collisions. Its motion through space is also unusual. Atlas travels 18.5 kilometers per second vertically relative to the galactic plane, far faster than typical stars or interstellar debris. Even before approaching the sun, its gases became active, releasing emissions long before solar heat could reach it. Comets usually begin to vaporize only after sunlight warms their icy crusts. Here, the activity started early, as if the energy came from within. Scientists like Avilov and Eric Kito suspect that what we see may not be sunlight reflected at all, but radiation from a central light source inside the object. If true, that would explain the strange glow, the abnormal brightness and the extended dust tail that stretches thousands of kilometers. These mysteries have pushed NASA to an extraordinary decision. To alter the orbit of Juno, a spacecraft launched in 2011 and orbiting Jupiter since 2016. Its mission has been to study the giant planet's atmosphere and magnetosphere, enduring extreme radiation that would kill a human in hours. Over time, Juno's camera system, JunoCam, suffered radiation damage. Engineers attempted a remote fix by heating the camera to restructure microscopic circuits. Against all odds, it worked. Now, Juno faces its greatest challenge. It must perform a delta Vi burn of 2.675 kilometers per second to break from Jupiter's gravity and intercept 3 Wislash Atlas by September 2025. If successful, the spacecraft will pass within 25 million kilometers of the interstellar object, close enough to collect data with its magnetometers, spectrometers, and particle detectors. After the flyby, Juno will drift into a precarious solar orbit, effectively ending its mission. But it will not be alone. Telescopes across Earth and space, including James Webb, continue to monitor 3 y atlas Observations trace their origin to the thick disk of the Milky Way, specifically in the constellation Sagittarius, a region populated by ancient stars. Its estimated age ranges from 7.6 to 14 billion years, making it potentially older than the solar system itself. The object's composition deepens the enigma. As it approached 3.5 astronomical units from the Sun, spectrographs detected water and hydroxyl ions, a surprising finding at such a distance, where heat should be minimal. Atlas is carbon poor and water rich, with a reddish hue suggesting organic compounds. Though it first appeared symmetrical, models now hint at an elongated, uneven shape, similar to that of Borisov or Oumuamua. Its active surface covers nearly 20% of its total area, four times that of typical comets. Within weeks, its surrounding coma expanded from 13,000 to 26,000 kilometers. Gas jets have been observed pointing both toward and away from the sun, altering its motion slightly. Most likely, these are produced by sublimating ice reacting to sunlight. Yet others argue for something stranger, perhaps directed propulsion or an internal mechanism. The James Webb Space Telescope captured the clearest image in late July the 2025, showing a bright flare ahead of Atlas's trajectory. Astrophysicist Avi Loeb noted that its brightness diminishes following the fourth power of distance, not the square law expected for reflected sunlight. This behavior suggests the object might generate its own energy from a central power source. If that is true, its actual size could be smaller than thought, perhaps less than 100 meters, an object emitting artificial light rather than reflecting it. Loeb's team explored every natural explanation, a primordial black hole, a radioactive fragment of a supernova, frictional heating with interstellar gas. None match the observations. The light pattern, the density, and the sustained emission all pointed toward one incredible possibility. 
that 3i slash Atlas could be an artificial probe traveling through the galaxy, shedding dust as waste material. The idea remains speculative, but it cannot be dismissed. Still, most of the scientific community remains cautious. Atlas emits water vapor and natural volatiles, features inconsistent with technology. Its immense size and predictable path align with Newtonian physics, not controlled flight. The light pulses are not signals, but reflections of solar radiation. To most experts, 3ii slash Atlas is an ancient exotic comet, not a visitor built by intelligence. Whatever it is, it has become the most studied astronomical object of 2025. Observatories around the world race to gather every bit of data before it escapes forever into interstellar space. Its discovery underscores how quickly modern astronomy must react to fleeting phenomena, and how much remains unknown beyond the sun's reach. The upcoming Vera Rubin Observatory may soon find many more such wanderers. For now, 3i slash Atlas drifts silently towards the inner system, a crimson traveller from another sun, older than Earth itself. Whether it is a fragment of creation or a machine from another world, it reminds humanity how vast and mysterious the cosmos remains. The observation campaign continues.